what's going on guys it's omniarch and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be watching a 138 million power player getting triple rallied in lost kingdom 13. Oh man, looks like it's going down. Oh man, oh no, dude. So I was just looking at this city and I had somebody let me know that they were bubbled all day and the bubble recently popped, it went away. And it looks like they haven't been logged in for a while. They're not on their own territory. And when I started watching this city, there was only this player right next to them. And now they are surrounded 67 million, 55 million, 95 million, 60 million, 53 million, 69 million. And all these players coming from Rose and Dark. We've got a rally coming in from Nelson. Looks like it is, I believe it's a Genghis Khan Saladin coming in from the players up here in red. So this is, oh, they, yeah, they, their kingdom already knows it's happening. 138 million uh, power player. Let's see. We got to take a look. Highest power and their deads. 6.1 million deads. So it looks like Dark is hitting first with a Edward and Tamaris. Tamaris? Kind of getting melted. Looks like they have a decent garrison though. Because um, we do have Artemisia on the wall. That first rally is going to be pretty bad. Pretty bad. Uh, looks like the 6-9 rally is late. I'm guessing Richie is going to lead it. Um, but they are certainly late to the party. Yeah, everyone's piling into Richie's city. So, oof. These first few rallies are going to be really bad. But uh, he's already lost 4 million power with that double rally. Oh my god, at least the kingdom was keeping an eye out and saw that, that he needed general, but man, dude, this is not going to be good. So we still got the two rallies hitting. The 6-9 rally is super late right now. Is this player even in the... Oh, we got people lining up ready to take the resources. So those, it looks like this rally was cancelled. Um, they're probably waiting for the 6-9 rally to hit. So it looks like they're probably going to regroup for another rally uh, and try to time this a little bit better with 6-9. Definitely got to hurry up. Now that they hit the city the first time, uh, that's when the, the clock starts ticking, right? Because now his this player's alliance and their kingdom is probably trying to reach out to them like crazy. Uh, that's typically how these things go. Once your city starts getting hit, I mean, if you're, in, if you're a part of any discords, if you're a part of any group chats here we've got another player pointing porting in here um you know that's when that's when friends start to really reach out like yo starting to blow up your phone 300 messages later so i'm assuming what they're going to want to do is have way more support up here near the city so that way they can actually reinforce these rallies once they go out so it looks like this was a this is a picture of the first rally um so it was a Khan Cao Cao rally against Artemisia and Isong. Um, let's see. So 8.1 million defending against a 2.6 million rally. Um, pretty even trade, honestly, in terms of like wounded to deads. Obviously, they didn't get deads because they were filling the hospital. So it looks like Dark and Rose are really trying to scramble to fill this field so they can start reinforcing the rallies once they hit. But the problem was that the the ed was tanking solo rally for too long before the um before the con solid and rally came in and then we never saw a third rally from six nine so they're probably trying to really plan the rallies are we getting another teleport what was that they were probably really trying to plan the rallies to uh to line up at the same time, but also uh, be able to actually reinforce those rallies once they start hitting. Now that they know what they're dealing with, I don't think uh, I don't think anybody actually scouted this city before they hit it because they didn't want to alert the player as to what was going on. I think they just committed to the zero before they knew what was on the wall. Um, you know, that's a <clears throat> sort of risky, I guess. But you know, this is the end of their KVK. They really don't have much to lose at this point. Um, 
the players here in red did uh, push heavily into Kingsland, so yeah. Uh, they, they did do really well, and this is the very end, and why not zero a player regardless, right? So we do see this Artemisia is not even maxed. That's crazy. All right, so we should be seeing some rallies coming in now. The field has some heavy presence going on. Heavy, heavy presence going on. Um, we do see incoming rally here from Dark. It looks like... Is Ed going to tank again? Nope. Nope. There it is. Okay. The Attila Takeda is tanking from 6-9. They finally show up here, and it looks like Rose is coming in with their rally. They also have an Attila Takeda on the field. So we have Dark coming in. This Attila Takeda, it was kind of hitting for a while by itself, um, but that's okay. It looks like this was what, way more uh, coordinated than it was for the first set of rallies, which we saw coming in. So we now see a triple rally. We see a triple rally on on this player um, started at 138 million power already down 8 million with the second set of rallies we do see a full field here ready to reinforce these three although the 6-9 rally does seem to be slipping a little bit I don't know what these players are doing we're not seeing this I guess Ethelflaed was planning on debuffing the city but they probably know that there's still too many troops in the city to actually be able to do that I don't know um, I don't think I'm seeing any Rose reinforcements, or I'm sorry, any 6-9 reinforcements going on here. Maybe they just don't have the players. We do see Mr. T coming in here to reinforce, which is nice. I did see a lot of players coming over here to this flag prior to the first round of rallies coming off. So this flag may be stacked with cavalry. Not really sure. We do have some cities that did teleport over. Remember, um, there was only a couple cities here before. Now we see way more in the field. So they could be kind of transporting um, players in their garrisons, in their cities as well looks like they didn't have the reinforcements to keep that tank going um but we we are seeing him oh my gosh down to 124 million so now we're definitely getting some some deads for the from this player here there's no way that they are um, still filling the hospital at this point they are really taking serious damage i mean two attila takedas alone are scary plus you have the edward tamiris on top of that i mean there's really nothing that there's nothing that they can do, and especially with the Artemisia being a 5544, it's not even expertise. Um, they are keeping the the uh, open field clear from that Isong Ye's AOE around the city too, so the the player's not even getting those free kills. And it looks like another set of rallies isn't really even going to be needed. Um, maybe they will. I, I don't know, but this is going down. Like this, this is it. It looks like uh, it looks like. This is really what it's going to take. It looks like Rose is really heavily reinforcing that uh, that rally, which is really nice. Um, Dark is getting a bit low at this point, but uh, Rose is heavily present in the field. Dark is over here. Uh, this player is just ready to be taken uh, all of the all the resources from the city. Um, it looks like they're coming in now with the swarms. Are we going to be seeing some swarms going on for the city? I don't know. We're going to be seeing uh, a lot of deads from these players getting hit by that aoe from esong so i don't know about that move right now but we're down to 117 million power already really taking some serious damage um i don't know if we're going to be seeing these see like i can see them swarming maybe with siege but i don't know about swarming with uh actual troops unless you're really trying to deal damage still i don't know i would probably rather reinforce the rallies than hit them solo again unless it's with just siege these siege players definitely have the right idea they're definitely uh uh, on the greed train that's for sure they they really want to come in here and get as much as possible we do see um there was a, an ethel flight in there do, doing some debuffing over here to the city so that's interesting yeah that esong is really going to deal some crazy crazy damage to these to these players surrounding the city but you know hey if they fill up their their resources then that's all they really care about we see them at 113 million now we do just uh we see the the rallies break they they cancel the rallies um, 113 million. We are still up to 6.1 million deads. That probably has to refresh. I don't think that that's an accurate assessment at the moment. Let's go ahead and see if we have another war, war report in here now. It looks like Rose. Oof. Serious damage. Serious damage. We see 400, uh, 471,000 to about a 1 million dead counter. Some nice resources looted there. All right. The dead counter refreshed. We're up to 8 million deads now. So, uh, we saw 2 million troops die in that triple rally attack we we do still have quite a way to go um you can when you get zeroed as a t5 player uh zero ends at around i don't know probably 58 million or 55 million somewhere in that range um 
that's typically when a player of this size will will kind of bottom out and run out of troops depending on if they have t5 siege or not i imagine they do at this power level especially with the, with the kills I cannot imagine they don't have t5 siege but um you know when you get zeroed you do end around the 55 to 58 million power area so we've got quite a ways to go that means there's still a ton of troops in this player's city and you know if they log in right now um they really could minimize the amount of losses two million deads is crazy but it can get Get way way worse uh, so we'll have to see if this player ends up logging in or not I don't know so it looks like King Claw is going to be probably leading another rally at this point nugget is com coming out here with the siege we got a lot of siege coming out now because we see um, a lot of uh, the troops did die from those first set of rallies so we're gonna have to check and see it looks like a lot of reinforcements are coming from 6-9 over to this flag just like we saw prior to the first set of rallies they probably used most of their reinforcements from this flag from that second set um, to reinforce the Attila Takeda so we'll have to see um, who is gonna be launching this rally attack now the Rose rally came from this direction right this is the Rose players here so Father Vaughn Father Van looks like the player leading the Attila Takeda rallies from this end sorry of course it's father van he's the one that was in the <laughs> was in the battle report obviously i wasn't paying attention to that i was just looking at the numbers here but these attila Cater, they are expertise um they're seriously doing work to this artemisia who is not so i don't know why this was the um build of choice maybe this player anticipated a a rally and they thought that this would be a great way to get free kills i don't really know um to me, it seems like that's not what I would leave on my wall if I were logging out. That seems like a very specific garrison. Um, but regardless, uh, I don't know. If they don't log in within the next couple of minutes, then they will not have any troops when they log back in, unfortunately, besides what's in their hospital, of course. So we do see an increase in field presence again. It looks like they're really gearing up for this second. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, third set of rallies uh, coming from King Claw and from the Rose players over there. And I guess Devil Awoken is probably going to be the one to lead the Attila Takeda rallies before because that's where we saw it come from prior. And of course, you do see the Justice title here. Um, that's typically how you can tell who's going to be leading the rallies, the ones with the war titles hovering over their cities, if you guys didn't know that. Um, so yeah, that's how you can see King Claw here. Got that nice uh, attack. And also the march speed is great because you can connect with the city. Um, and the sooner you can get to the city, the sooner you connect. And the sooner that you connect, um, the less likely they will be able to um, do much about that rally. <laughs> Looks like we got another player teleporting in here. They're probably just trying to get in on the fun. 58 million power, 6-9, really filling up the field now. We started watching this city prior to the burning when there was a single player. Devil Awoken was the single player next to the city. Uh, and since then, it looks like he's had about 10 players join him in the field, ready to get this bonfire going. And everybody is cozying around the fire, not trying to get too close to get hit from that Isong A AoE super scary guys if if there's a rally attack going on and, and it's hitting a city and the esong aoe hits you while you're standing outside of the city even if you're not a part of that rally uh, you can still get deads which is really scary because there is a rally going on and if you're a part of the alliance that is rallying that city uh, you still can take deads even though if you're not part of the rally um, still really scary stuff so that's part of the reason esong is such a powerful commander you definitely don't want to be uh you know messing around and way too close to an esong that is defending against a rally because uh, it will give you deads faster than you can react and next thing you know you, you got 50,000 dead troops and you weren't even a part of the rally so yeah always always uh, good to be careful around an esong on a garrison city um it looks like we still have more reinforcements coming in filling up this flag right now it looks like they're just trying to coordinate the next set of rallies here comes the uh, looks like they're sticking with Edward Tamaris. I'm assuming um, we're probably going to see the uh, Attila Takeda probably going to be tanking again. Not sure. looks like the Rose uh, rally is going to be coming. Yep. Attila Takeda again from Father Van. Um, so we're going to see who's going to hit first, whether it's going to be this Attila Takeda or 6-9. Maybe they're going to uh, trade off who's going to be tanking those hits. Um, looks like Rose is probably going to be hitting first at this time. So it looks like Rose is going to be uh, doing the tanking. Now we see a scout go out. Um, probably just trying to see what they're really dealing with now. Again, they are hitting 
for a bit there's the second attila takeda rally i was wondering when that was going to come um it's always scary being you know when you're when you're rallying a city of this size um you don't want to be solo rallying it for too long because you know you're just not getting enough you're not getting enough damage to the massive amount of troops that are in that city to be able to sustain it for very long so these players right now are trying to reinforce these rallies timing it to not get hit from that isong aoe ideally um they're probably still getting chipped a little bit on their way in but it looks like this is this is working really really well the rose rally is going down a little bit another another player teleporting in here just trying to get in on the fun we don't see a single uh, member of this player's alliance in the field at all and the problem was again he is just not on his territory i mean you're not even on the territory of the right kingdom at this point um they this player was bubbled for a very long time the bubble went out and the rallies began so you always have to be careful in kvk if your city is not on your alliance territory you should move or you should go back to your home kingdom it doesn't matter what your power level is because since i pressed record we've seen this player lose 35 million power in the blink of an eye it's been about 20 minutes since the first set of rallies started coming maybe 25 minutes uh and you know in the blink of an eye you see you know months worth of troops just disappearing um and you can replace them of course but you would have to spend a ridiculous amount of money to do so and so there's no there's no real reason for this um you know this type of, of uh, mistake I guess from a player of this size is is not that common um, so this is a, a pretty big mistake it looks like they're gonna start to swarm now with the siege to try and get the um, get the uh, free free resources essentially we see a constants over here typically not the uh, typically not what you would see when you're hitting a city but you know when you are gathering resources hey I guess it doesn't really matter at that point does it so the rallies are broken it looks like they are not going to commit to the uh yeah you see these some of these they instantly die right they instantly die because they just there's still so many troops in the city that uh that the siege just cannot just cannot keep uh cannot keep up so again this player was at 158 million we're down to 102 million that doesn't seem right so yeah we're down to 93 million don't know what was going on there um we're back up to 10 million dead so we've seen 4 million dead troops since the beginning of this zeroing almost doubled the amount of deads that he's gotten so far uh let's take a look at this report jesus christ so we see 438,000 to 1.2 million dead for the player getting zeroed that's an incredible incredible trade unbelievable took all of his stone along with it absolutely ridiculous uh, and i would i can't believe you know the other rallies are probably of similar caliber if not uh maybe slightly better or slightly worse but we saw a 6 million troops battling into 2.6 million troops and still taking way 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 more deads absolutely disgusting disgusting rallies coming from that attila takeda from the rose player over here father van really dealing some crazy damage with with his alliance reinforcing him really really great work really great uh, timing we, we saw the timing of the first set of rallies was kind of off um, but the second set of rallies and the third set of rallies were really on point with the attila takeda rallies hitting maybe for only a couple of seconds before reinforcements came uh, and they were really piling on there to make sure that those reinforcements stay full and that's you know that's really important when you are doing rallies whether you're rallying a city or a flag or a fort or anything like that uh, you want to make sure that there are people in the open field to reinforce that rally because you know you don't want to have to keep sending out rallies over and over and over again you want to keep the same rallies filled up to the brim and that maximizes the dps that can be dealt by the commanders by the player leading that rally um, it's really really important to have field presence and to be reinforcing when things do go down like this um, more often than not you'll see this happening with flags but in the rare instance you may see it happening to a hundred 38 power, million power player so remember guys like i was saying before you know you do when you do get zeroed you usually you usually end the zero usually ends around 55 million power which means that's your base power of your city anything beyond that is typically just troop power right it's just the power of the troops you also get some power from the commanders as well but you know if you look at the commanders you know a commander like an ethel fled or even an expertise richard commander power is only 108,000. like that's very very little so most of the power um comes from your troops past that 55 million which means you know if he's at 138 million that this player has you know maybe 
80 million uh power worth of just troops and we saw 30 million of that go away uh in just the last couple of minutes so this player lost probably you know 40 percent of their troops already which is absolutely insane um we saw again you know if you look at the deads here we saw them go from 6.1 million to 10 million dead troops so 4 million troops absolutely crazy with probably another 4 million in here on top of whatever's in the hospital now remember this is kvk so this player does have double hospitals um, double hospital capacity that is and that i also would imagine that this player is probably uh, a vip 17 which means they probably have some extra hospital capacity that you can get um from i guess not only vip uh, 13 but i imagine there's more hospital yeah there's more hospital capacity at uh 15 there is not at 17 surprisingly but uh yeah this is probably i would be willing to bet it's a vip 17 player just you know when you get to 138 million you've had to have spent so much that you would get enough uh vip just from the chests alone that you would be buying and on top of that you're probably a part of alliance that also spends of the same caliber now the other thing to know is again as these rallies go on they're going to trade more and more positive right because the rallies are fighting into a city filled with troops and the first wave of rallies typically get melted pretty fast because they're hitting the full blunt force of all of those troops uh the second set of rallies typically does a little bit better because the first set will have filled the hospital usually and did, uh, gotten a couple of deads maybe some here and there um but you know the third set of rallies is really where you start to see some massive damage happen which is what we just saw here with this battle report um coming from the rose uh, alliance over in the corner there um so the fourth set of rallies is probably going to be uh, as good or better than this one because again they are hitting the city with the same number of troops and the same commanders but the city has fewer troops inside to defend itself so there's fewer dps coming out of that city uh to defend itself and so um you're you're just you're not going to be melting the rallies as fast as they were with the first two sets um and you know it's just gonna it's just downhill right it's really downhill after those first two sets of rallies um you really gotta log in before those before the third and fourth ones hit otherwise you really start to sustain some insane amount of damage which unfortunately it looks like this player still has not logged in yet so this may be an absolute burn down to 55 million which would be insane so we see pork bun coming over here this is interesting pork bun is using the osman primary i would be willing to bet it's an, an a scipio secondary or maybe even a julius caesar secondary and the reason for that is because when you're reinforcing rallies all you really care about is the number of troops that you're bringing to the battlefield it does not matter it does not matter uh what commanders you are reinforcing with all that matters is who's leading the rally whatever commanders are leading the rally are going to be the ones that are dealing the damage the players that are reinforcing the rally can technically reinforce with whoever you want and the reason that a player like this may be uh, sending full calves with somebody like osman who isn't a cavalry commander um it's because osman has the fourth skill that does increase the number of troops that he can bring to the battlefield uh, by 10 percent now again he may have a scipio secondary who also stacks another 10 percent or um if he does have a julius caesar with five in this last skill or even four um he would be bringing more than 10 percent additional with julius caesar um it could it's totally possible and again if you see other players out in the battlefield with a similar composition that's why and here you go you see a scipio um we see a very large army we see a very large army this is a 50 percent army expansion right here no doubt about that and it looks like we've got the first rally coming in here and attila takeda from sneaky pete coming in from uh the clan of uh, the alliance dark going to hit first way before we see any other uh, any of their rallies on the battlefield it looks like there is rose uh with their attila takeda and i imagine devil awoken is going to be launching their rally up oh, there it is okay so this rally was hitting for a little bit by itself again not too big of a deal um the rose rally did lag a little bit behind at this point but again once you start to hit that fourth wave of rallies um you get to the point where you know the city is getting weaker and weaker almost exponentially at that point uh and when you're taking three attila takedas i mean man the <laughs> there's just really not much that these players can do and again we're seeing a lot of people uh staying out of the range of the isong aoe coming from this player city we got another player teleporting in 39 million i'm not really sure i guess they're trying to reinforce these rallies lots of players are teleporting in probably just to be a part of the fun um they do seem to have enough 
in the open field open field coverage to get this player down to zero numbers are not really the issue at this point but again these players are probably just teleporting in just to be a part of the action and i don't blame them um because you know kbk is fun everything is winding down at this point they're gonna have a couple of months of rest and relaxation and so this is probably the last hurrah the last bit of fun that they're gonna be having um for this kbk before everybody teleports back home so one quick little bonfire right at the end and my god we see down to 81 million and now we start to see the swarms coming in people are getting greedy people really want to just take these resources and absolutely destroy the city um we do see down to 78 every time i click in the city it's down millions and millions and millions of power absolutely crazy and like i said before this is the fourth set of rallies right and i'm gonna have to simplify the graphics because this is just getting insane um fourth set of rallies uh is is always the you know again it's exponential it gets worse and worse and worse and again and still we see these players trying to solo hit the city and they're getting melted immediately and the reason for that is because there's still a lot of troops in a 75 million power city now again this player did start with 138 million right 138 million absolutely ridiculous we're up to 11.8 uh, million dead troops doubled his dead troops in just a 30 minutes that we've been recording let's take a look at this battle report um shout out to nugget from rose been sending me these every single minute this is an absolutely disgusting one we see even less dead troops than before coming from rose and again no surprise there because the troops in the city are about half of what they were from the first reports that we saw this player lost half a million troops just from that rally alone and remember there were three of them so let's take a look so apparently he still has <laughs> still has 536 million stone left and that's why you see all of these incredibly thirsty gatherers and siege units out here surrounding the city they just want to get those free resources absolutely crazy so this looks like a what what, what is going on here this looks like a rally from another alliance txik not sure where that came from i wasn't really paying attention um but either that or there's no way that's a solo player that's that's dealing some crazy damage i mean my god um i don't know where that rally came from again i wasn't really paying attention uh but it does look like it's it's uh it's doing some work so hey there it is um we see another player teleporting in here to be a part of the fun people really just want that stone i'm assuming and to be a part of this uh of this zeroing it's not that often that you get to zero a 138 million power player down to uh 74 million last i saw um and there it is 74 million absolutely ridiculous so again the first rally we saw they had 8 million troops and the the last rally that we just got the report from uh we saw that they were down to 3 million troops so more than half of their troops were already killed um so we've seen them seriously get uh, just cut in half at this point right we just cut in half uh and even more so right because again the 55 million is the base power of your city roughly speaking and so everything after that is troops and so you're not going to go below the 55 million um so we've seen more than half of these troops by far get murdered and this rally is doing some serious work it is by itself uh, but again you know there's not that many troops left in the city relative to that rally either so you know it is what it is uh they totally can get away from that is, is this tier one siege right here that looks like some tier one siege very interesting choice i'm surprised this player didn't get instantly killed but again i they probably don't have any freaking troops left so i i don't understand um you know uh, man this is this is this is crazy we now we're starting to see uh that the field is just filling up with siege and we're probably gonna see maybe one more rally coming in here from the uh the alliances in red up north potentially uh maybe rose over here no we don't see anything coming over from rose other than um, a couple more players just looking to solo the city now they're not gonna be they're not gonna be zeroing the city with uh siege attacking uh solo so they're gonna have to do at least one more rally i imagine if they really want to zero this player if all they're looking for at this point is resources then they can swarm the city if they want but man this this alexander really just really just soloed itself just just, just kamikaze into the city i mean you still don't want to do that right you still don't want to do that that's not really a good idea uh anybody with a power level of that caliber is not really something that you want to attack solo um no matter how many rallies they've taken they still have 72 million power wouldn't advise doing something like that so we're up to 12.1 million deads they were at 6.1 million deads when we started recording 
doubled the dead count absolutely crazy so guys this is lost kingdom 13 lost kingdom 13 huge shout out to all the participants of this lost kingdom now this is the same lost kingdom that i believe legend roni is a part of um, i don't know if they have any territory left at this point um but yeah that was uh there's a lot of crazy things happened in kvk uh 13 here the obviously we're talking about the the kingdom number 13 this is kvk4 now um, but kingdom number lost kingdom number 13 is technically what i should be saying and it looks like the player bubbled i looked away for just a second and the player logged in put a bubble on their city and thank goodness for them um they couldn't get the zero they took a bit too long i don't know if they we're going for the zero if they had another set of rallies planned it looks like they do they do have a siege rally going to hit the city with julius caesar for the extra uh, extra amount of troops but of course the bubble does prevent them from doing anything at all but this player certainly took a massive massive loss lost more than half their troops we see a lot of bad manners going on over here by the by the players in 69 by the players by the rose players uh dropping a lot of emotes and look you know it may be you can say it's bad manners you could say it's all in good fun it's all part of the game um but of course this player is uh man really lost a, a lot a lot a lot of power a lot of troops a lot of hard work a lot of money too i'm sure um it was gonna have to go into rebuilding this account if the player does decide to rebuild i imagine they will a 72 million power player is still a very powerful player again when you get zeroed you do still keep all of your commanders so it's not like your account is absolutely worthless it's not like you're starting from zero um so keep that in mind you know this is still a very powerful player a very active player um, and a player that has invested a lot into the game and i imagine will probably continue to do so um thankfully for them they did log in before the actual zero happened once they actually get their entire hospital healed up looks like there was still another rally going in um I'm wondering actually now if this bubble is the player who logged in or if um, if it's actually just the alliance skill. If you guys didn't know, the alliance skill in here, if you go into alliance tech, there is a counter offensive skill that you can use the this is locked because our alliance hasn't unlocked it yet because we're new to our kingdom but it does give you a approximately a six minute peace shield um and a 10 percent defense boost so um 360 second shield so we'll have to wait and see if this player um it, it did actually log in and pop that peace shield or if their alliance just used counter offensive all right, so it's been longer than 360 seconds, which means this is a real shield from this player. Again, that's how you can tell whether this is an alliance skill or not. You just go in here to the technology. You can take a look right on the bottom. The counteroffensive skill, again, it lasts for about six minutes. Um, so if you kind of wait that out, that's probably why these players are still hu uh, huddling around the city. They were probably hoping that this would be a counteroffensive um, play. Unfortunately for them, though, this looks like it's a real peace shield, which means the soonest it would come away is 12 hours from now, and they're definitely not going to be sitting and waiting around. Now, there's no way this player is going to stay in this position. The only exception to that, of course, is if this player just says you know what i'm gonna quit the game which would be unfortunate um although that is what tends to happen um there he goes he drops the emote i love it uh he's obviously um he's obviously probably not too happy about what just happened but he is probably excited that he was able to at least log in before his entire account got zeroed um this wasn't his highest power ever he started at 138 million his highest was 147 he obviously is part of kvk so he obviously lost that during regular fighting um he will probably build back i don't know this player at all but i imagine you know a player of this caliber um he's got some time before the next kvk to kind of rebuild those troops so we'll have to wait and see best of luck to this player um for taking that that massive amounts of attila takeda rallies the edward rallies to myris rallies crazy 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 guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it i would really really appreciate it this is the first time i'm making a video like this um i got the information that this player may get rallied and i just hit record so i don't really know how long this video was what i talked about but if you enjoyed the video
video, drop a thumbs up on it. It really helps my channel out a ton and it helps other people find my content who may be interested in it. Same thing with subscribing and clicking that bell button. It basically tells YouTube that other players and other people who watch this content may be interested in my channel. And I would really, really appreciate that as well. Comment down below. If you have any other questions about rise of kingdoms, about these rallies, about what went happened, about what happened, what transpired here in this kingdom, lost kingdom 13. Um, just let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below my discord channel, my Twitch channel, and all of my social medias are in the description below as well. If you want to come and follow me over there, uh, to get more contact, if you have any questions, you can ask me on discord as well. We have a ton of people over there who play rise of kingdoms and I do live stream rise of kingdoms typically around once or twice a week. So make sure you follow me over on Twitch to get notified the next time that I do go live. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.